Welcome and today we are going to be talking about Milena and let's hop right in. Let's talk about this line here. This channel is talking about, it says it right here, a design needing to be first. This is all about a, being a competitive channel and it's about initiating things and this is also about her being consciously aware of her competitiveness right here beside it. This is all about um, what's in it for you. When you say things like what's in it for me or the words that just spew out of your mouth just surprise you or you might say things like I want to or um, you might say things that include the words me. So always pay attention to those things because it's direct connection to your will and it's really a look on how you have control over the material world, which of course includes Mula Mula. And regarding this as well, people just put you in the place of management. You're the one in charge. Why? Just because they say so. You have the energy for it. All right. Let us talk about this particular channel here. This is all about you knowing what it takes to succeed and you not needing to, there's no better way to say it, sleep with people to get to the top. Uh, that's an old saying, but you know, it's not stepping on other people to get to the top. Um, it's about knowing who has talent. It's about sniffing out that talent and making it go to that next level. All right, we are going to move on to the next channel here in the background. There's renos being done. And this one here is called the channel of judgment. And I have this one as my shining light out into the world too. And the creator of the system actually called it the channel of the bitch. Bitch, 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 nag, nag, nag. You know, finding all the the particularities and the, and the thing and trying to make it better. Now, to you, you're just, you know, trying to make things better for the better of the whole team. You know, the better for <clears throat> making it better for... <clears throat> You know, everyone's good. And when people like your man are compromised by that, he may feel like the, what the person who called the system, the channel of the bitch, nag, 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 might be correct sometimes because he's compromised by it. Now, this judgment is when you're working in your true self, then this judgment is clear and sound and what's good for you is good for everyone. We're going to take a look at these lines in between here. You can see that there's kind of like a C looking shape here. It actually is three different lines or channels and you can see the different names here. So. The one running from 34 to the 10, that's the channel of exploration, um, a design of following one's own convictions. So that's literally about following what is correct for you, following your own convictions, following your form, because it's going to be powerful. It's going to keep you safe. Now the next one running from the 34 to the 57 is the channel of power design of being an archetype. So you are a powerful being, a powerful archetype. An archetype of what? An archetype of being human. What is it like to be a human like Milena? Now, the last one here actually runs from the 57 up to the 10. And that's talking about a channel of perfected form, a design of survival. Now, you know what is correct for you and you are going to move through those steps in order to take that take those steps to make it happen because it is the correct 
behavior for you to keep you safe and healthy. So altogether, all of these three channels are talking about how when you follow what's correct for you, it's going to be safe and healthy for you. It's going to allow this powerful archetype of who you are to emerge. When you act, are acting yourself, you are going to make people feel so centered. The, you make people feel come, sorry, you make people feel like they can come back to who they really are when they're around you. That you might hear things like, oh, I really feel like I can be myself around you. And that's really what that is like. Or people might just, you know, snap into the pr- correct behavior when you're around too. So that happens with my siblings because I have that too, where they act c- proper around me because they know if they are, if they act proper, they get access to all of my electronics. So, you know, they snap into the proper behavior. All right, let's take a look at all of those channels together and see what they say. So you are a person who is here to follow your own convictions no matter what, because it's going to be safe and healthy for you, even when you're competitive, even when you say what's in it for me, because you're a person who understands who has the talent and what needs to be corrected for the better of all. When you are acting yourself, when you are being that competitive being, you are going to be so inspirational so empowering. You are a person who brings people back to their center. You are a person who makes others feel comfy. You are a person who really does have this focus. And you just like to begin things, maybe just to finish them. But you also like to start things. So regarding the starting things, make sure that you're not doing a lot of things at once because you'll just get the watered down version of what you're doing. So just focus on one thing, not five things at once. You know, two hours for streaming, two hours for MTG, two hours for cooking, two hours with, I don't know, OTK. So yes, Um, now there's a lot of other things going on in here. What can we talk about? Well, it says that opinions are a part of your shining light out into the world. Do you resonate with that? So what are all of these colored in geometrical shapes? Well, here it means that you have a fixed way of understanding timing and pressure in your life. I bet nobody's going to move Milena unless Milena decides to move herself. Um, you do know when enough is enough. You do know what is healthy and safe for you, uh, people, places, things, and experiences. And you do have a consistent access to willpower where 70% of the population doesn't. You do have this uh, sense of direction, identity, and love in life. And you have a particular way in which you put it all out into the world. Now, why are there some white? That doesn't mean you're broken. It doesn't mean that there's anything missing. All it says is, is that if you are not acting yourself or if, you know, it's really hard to describe this. If you're just not acting yourself and trying to do what you were taught to do or, you know, the conditioned version of who you are are, instead of the true version of who you are, you might try to not rock the boat because you're a nice person. You don't want to ruffle the feathers. So you're you're just going to, you know, when somebody asks you if their haircut's nice, you're just going to say, yeah. Or you're going to do the opposite. Tell too many truths. So you're not going to tell enough truths or you're going to tell too many truths. There's a perfect timing when things need to be said, of course. Now, I have this here, just like you, and you're just going to be in the mood or not, socially. 
sexually, etc. It's just going to be on or off. It just is. <laughs> so up here, if you're going out of your way to try to do things for others that aren't really considered you, then you're going to be trying to prove that you're inspirational or that you should be inspired. So this is where people find themselves endlessly scrolling through their phone, trying to look for something inspirational, something new. Or you might be the person that has all the answers because if, well, if Milena doesn't have the answer, she sure will get it. And here it could be two opposite things again. Either you're not going to say a word because you're not going to speak until you have proof or fact or you're going to be the complete opposite. You're going to say, oh, I know, I know, I know. This is my way and I know. But truly, we only know what I know. Sorry, you only know what you know. And that's completely okay and that's fine. And if you don't know, it's not the end of the world. It's just you don't know. It's beautiful. So if you are acting not self, you might be acting like the good girl trying to answer questions so that you don't ruffle feathers just to show that you do know. So if you ever feel like you have to answer because you don't want to rock any boats, then you don't have to. Did your energy tell you to answer that question or not? And within the system, I do teach people how they say their yes and no. And that's not what we're doing here today. We're just going in and having some fun, checking some things out. Funny enough, your birthday is like 10 years after mine in a completely different month. But we have right angle cross of service the same as well. When I first heard that, I'm like, ew. I am here to be of service, <laughs> but I see it though. I have been in a place where I do want better for all, and this is my service. This is what I want to do, make people happier based on who they are. So um, service can be different for everybody. Everybody is different, but yes, that is your purpose in life. That's your purpose. The incarnation cross and anybody else listening if you look at incarnation cross that's your purpose as well um but one other thing that i want to show to you is profile up here two four what that means is that you're a hermit you are a person who prefers to stay away from the drama you like peace and quiet and you are a natural at something and you would prefer not to get called out on that thing that you're natural at because you're just natural at it. When you called out, you're called out on how to do it. It's just like, well, I it's I just do it. You know, you're a natural competitive manager. It just happens. You just do it. So it can feel uncomfortable when people call you out because it's hard to explain how you just are awesome. <laughs> So we have the other part here. It's all about your brotherhood, sisterhood. There is a close knit of people, group of people that you have that mean the world to you. And then there's many. And as a streamer, <laughs> that kind of makes sense. But there's there's more to it, though. You're a person that has... A message that you want to say to your group or your network you like you have something that you want to tell them for me I want to tell them about this stuff um but sorry you also don't like people at the same time because you're a hermit it's like you want to be a hermit but you also know that your network is where your opportunities come from so you got to do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, regarding that brotherhood, sisterhood, if a person fucks you over, they burn you. You're never going to allow them back into the circle again. 
because you've given them enough chances that they should have known. They've taken advantage at this point, and now they're out. It's too bad. Now, the type of people that you need to be around in order to be successful is a, a peop, sorry, that's actually over here, um, are people who allow you to go through that trial and error to allow you to break things down, to make and break bonds, to allow you to have space, to allow you to come back together, to really figure out what is wrong with the system or, you know, that trial and error. And you really need that environment around you as well in order to be successful. All right. I'm going to end it there because we could talk forever. We really could. Because we could go down the list of all of these numbers, which we haven't. We could talk about all of the stuff over here that we haven't. We could talk about how when you lay down, you're a completely different type of person. We could talk about where you came in, like how you really think about different ideas a lot. And, you know, how this is what your brain thinks you're doing. This is what your body's doing. We could talk about your relationship with Nick. We could talk about how your life is going to change in three years and you might already be starting to feel the shift. We could talk about a bunch of different things. So I'm going to end it there. If you want your experience like Nick or Milena, make sure you get a hold of me through my website. A quickie like this is uh, 50 US dollars. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for your time.